Moi! Nice to see you all. I'm here to talk shortly about artificial intelligence, which I think is the coolest topic at the moment in the world. I have been in the ICT sector close to 20 years, and I really thought that I knew something of software engineering, software business world, but still, this artificial intelligence has been a completely new topic. I programmed first time when I was 10 years old in the 80s, and even that, even from that perspective, this is a new thing in many, many ways. This is an alien thing. I, th I really hope that after this, you get something of the alien in it, the alien, what does that alien mean, and what can we work on it, and what should we work on it? Artificial intelligence will change our life. It will change our society in a way that we cannot know today. Andrew Ng, who is one of the gurus in artificial intelligence, compared this to the electricity. In the late 19th century, when electricity started to evolve and started to have the first showcases in that, in that time, there was no way of telling that what it will bring in 100 years what kind of society is with electricity and is without electricity. And the same goes with artificial intelligence. And think of this electricity that we study today it in elementary school. We understand the limits and the boundaries. We know the risks. But in the late 19th century, it was not possible to estimate what it will bring. The concept itself is fuzzy. We have been reading it from media and seeing different YouTube clips, and still it is fuzzy. It is used in multiple ways, and that has led a lot of misconceptions and misunderstandings. But as the future is unknown, it has led to this kind of, let's say, scenarios. Because the concept is fuzzy, we can put our let's say, feelings, our hopes, our desperations to these pictures. There is a lot of, um, let's say, painted, imaginary, science fiction kind of future scenarios. Robots will help us so that we just spend leisure time all the time, quite utopistic, and then we have this really, really dark future where our overlords of intelligence that will manipulate us. But what is it? What it will be? It is up to us. Where do we invest our time? But my question is that can we make decisions over artificial intelligence if this concept is just so full of hype and full of hopes, and the facts are somewhere, wherever. So first, to make any kind of ethical decisions or any kind of decisions related to artificial intelligence, we need to study what it is. So let's take, let's take a glimpse. What is it today? It is this. The point here is to show that you know most of this already. It has interpreted so fast to our life, to our digital life, that we didn't even realize how fast it has happened. Think, you are using Facebook, you are using any kind of e-commerce, there will be always product recommendations. And the, we are using Spotify, Netflix, we are playing mobile games, any kind of games. We are doing grocery shopping from Koruoka. We are watching Yle Arena. All of these contain artificial intelligence solutions. It is a tool or set of tools, different tools. You can see from this slide that the variety of these solutions is quite wide. So there is like um, Google Search, and then there is a self-driving car. And then there is a pricing optimization. These are like completely different things. 
And that opens you the world that there are different kind of techniques and approaches. Other thing that is very important in this slide, that since you know most of this, this is yesterday. To go to the future where artificial intelligence solutions are fully utilized, whatever that means, we don't know. But that future is very, very interesting. One way to approach this topic, what is artificial intelligence in general, is this way. You can put anything to these dimensions. You can see that there is a thermostat. This is highlighting that something that has self, is uh, self-driven, no, autonomous, has, doesn't mean it, it is artificial intelligence. Sensors are not artificial inten intelligent. Thermostat is aware of a context, does know the temperature of the room, and then adjusts the temperature. It is not intelligent. It's not artificial intelligence. And other thing you can see from this picture is that most of the solutions in the previous slide are narrow, not self-driving car, but narrow in the sense that when you are thinking of them, they are, making, they are solving one issue, not many issues. So the world is wide open to go and explore this topic. What I do for a living is that I discuss with people a lot. I have a business angle to this topic, so I discuss with different stakeholders, individuals who are interested in the topic. I also involve myself so, a little bit to the recruiting, just to understand where we are heading. And then I also discuss with the customers a lot. What has been clear so far is that there is a small, small group of people who truly understand what artificial intelligence is and what you can use it for. Is it a huge effort? Small effort? Is it even doable? Should we be doing these things? Are there something ethical and dimensions that we don't even consider? It's a small group of people. And then there is a huge group of people who have some sort of shallow understanding. They know these the reference cases in the previous slides, they have read it from the different magazines and they understand something of it. But the issue here is that if we want to go for the future and generate something that hasn't been there before, we have to meet in a midway. These people who have this, this small group of people who have the real skills and understanding, they have to reach out and these people who have the shallow understanding of the topic have to reach out too. And reaching out in this sense means studying the basic concepts. So if linear regression is not known to you or some Bayesian models, then there is something to study for. And only when we are sharing this area of understanding, mutual understanding, then we can start to make decisions. Then we can share the ideas we can have, or then we can share the discussion about ethical ideas. But first, we have to have the mutual understanding. I see the next step to go forward here is to explore. The most fascinating cases I have seen in a half a year are such that these two groups really, really meet in a half a way. So these designers, business owners, developers, everyone who has shallow and not yet deeper understanding meet in a half a way and they start talking and sharing. And then they create something completely new. I haven't been able to even think of those ideas they are coming up with. It is so, so fascinating. We are in a brink of new era. There is so much possibilities to be creative here. And with exploring, so if you think first that we are studying something, we are creating something, let's say, theoretical understanding, but make it deeper, you need to explore. And with exploring, I don't mean one proof of concept, I mean 10, I mean 20. Because this is a set of tools to really explore its possibilities and benefits. You need to explore it well. 
So, I hope that this that I gave you now, that I wanted to share with you now, makes you want to explore this topic. Because the future is unknown, and it is up to us where do we invest our time. Thank you.